Nice guys or bad boys? Bad boys. Bad boys. Why? They're more fun. Douchebags all the way. If you're coming to me and you say, hey, babe, I just booked this trip, da da da, da I'm taking, why are you expecting pussy though? Like, why are you. Why would I book Why would I book a trip for a woman? Pussy right now. What are we talking about? Why am I I'm taking you? Get a win to Magic City. You across the country to try to get some pussy. I'm hanging out with the woman who does give me pussy, and now we're taking trips. What's the sense in that? If we've never, you've never given me no pussy, saying, we're not taking to? vacations. I take vacations with women I get pussy from. And I go on this trip, and at the end of the night on this cruise or this whatever we did, I'm not in the room wondering, damn, I wonder if I'm gonna get That's some fun. pussy tonight. That doesn't happen on my vacation. <laughs> on my vacations, I get the pussy. No, I'm not. That's not for everyone. That's for me. Women have more to lose with marriage, to be honest, because once you get married, um, you step into a lot of roles as a wife. You know, a husband is the provider, yeah, and he kind of keeps the family together. He's the lead of the family. But a wife, really a woman change. automatically steps into a servant, a child care provider, a sexual partner whenever he wants to have sex, a, 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 I don't know, a tutor for the kids, you're helping the kids with their homework. Like, there's a lot of roles that women step into, a cook, a cleaner, like, you get a lot of assistance from a wife. She said that women have more to lose by being married. Ma'am, do you understand that if me and you are married and you want to divorce me, if I didn't make your ass out of prenup, you are entitled to half of everything I worked my whole life for? I got it. Ma'am, do you understand that if I marry you and you divorce me, that those children that we went 50-50 on are 95% of the time going to be granted to you regardless if you can pay your bills or not? So you mean to tell me that you feel that because you had to cook, clean, fucking shut up, that you lose less than a man that's losing his family, his money, his children, and his fucking sanity when we break up? Cause you wanted to goddamn go over here with goddamn all oh, Darius Jackson. If women have more to lose, then why do men pay alimony? If women have more to lose, then why do men? Excuse me, ma'am. If men have more to lose, then why most of the time men gotta pay child support? If men have more, hold on, ma'am. If men have more to lose, then why in the world is a judge cutting up the, the man's assets 50 50 If y'all got more, if y'all have more to lose? Because, sir, that's the whole premise. Because the wife is you cook, you clean, you fuck, you shut up, and now you're supposed to get a house. I know motherfucking old women that been cleaning up bitches' houses for years and ain't got the man. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Modern Fusion TV. V. guys as always i appreciate the subscriptions i appreciate the likes and the comments without you guys this channel is not possible thank you in advance guys so let's jump into this video let's not waste no more time let's get it baby Fellas, ladies, whosoever is tuning in at this moment, do you witness, see the entitlement of these Western women? Imagine as a man, gather your whole friends and family to witness a moment in your life that will change the trajectory forever. And the entitlement of this modern woman. She said, no, I don't like it. 
This ring is not it for me. Guys, the audacity. See, this is why men are taking their passport and then they say, you know what? To the hell with these Western women. The ungratefulness, the entitlement. See, women say they want marriage, they want everything, but the truth is, a lot of these women are not ready to settle down. A lot of them want to have you on the side while they play around. Because you know what? A lot of them, they're still in the street. They got the tattoo. They just got their fresh tattoo on their arm. I belong to the street. They're not ready for a good guy yet. Messing with the bad boys, the city boys, the Pookie, the Chad, the Tyrone. This is why she make up these excuses for the good guy. And said, yes, I don't like it. Because if she was truly in love and want to be with this good guy right here, Ring would not be a factor. But because he's a good guy, she's using the excuse, I don't like it. Listen, bro, take it from me. You dodge a bullet. I would walk away. I would not go to the store and get another ring. Cut her off. Because if this is her attitude about you and your bending knees proposing and her decision is made purely on she doesn't like the ring, that's a red flag, my friend. That is a red flag. Cut your lashes, get back on your knees and say, thank you, God. Because a lot of us we don't see the signs. Oh, we see the sign, but we chose to ignore them. A woman will not lie to you intentionally, but she will show you the sign, what she's all about. And that, my friend, was a red flag, a big one. Cut it. You dodge the bullet, my man. You dodge the bullet. I hope she found what she's looking for. And I hope you found what you're looking for. Woo! That was crazy. So I told some ladies one time I, in, in this deal, uh, Women Evolve, I think it was. I said, let me show y'all how to find the perfect husband. And of course, you know, a room full of Woo! ladies. Like, Woo! He finna tell, tell me. me but he, and they start pulling and <laughs> Pull pulling and pulling. Like yeah, yeah. I said, I need you to make a list of everything that you want him to be. Make a list. Everything you, I want his credit score to be 850. I want him to be making $200,000 a year. He got to have his own house. I want him to be real groomed. He got to be well rounded. I say, make everything on that list that you want in a person. Do it. Make, put it all on there. Everything. And become the list. See, we're not willing to become the list of what we want. Ooh. See, you just want a bunch of stuff, but you're not willing to become a bunch of stuff. I mean, he's absolutely right. You know, most of us, not only women, we don't want to put in the work. We want that instant gratification. We want nothing to do with the journey. We just want the result of the journey. Mm, such a shame. All these women are hollering out what they need in a man. And the only way they're going to be with a man is if they have everything on their check on their bucket list. Well, newsflash, a lot of women's bucket lists are literally absolutely fucking ridiculous and is a fantasy. A lot of women say, oh, I don't want to be with a man unless he makes a certain amount this in a year. I can't be with a man if it's not my way. I can't be with a man if he doesn't whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. Did you ever think for one second looking over your life and your current situation? Are you making anywhere near what you want your partner to make? 
answer that for me these women are out here saying i need a man that's gonna make three hundred thousand a year four hundred thousand a year what are you bringing to the table because it sounds like you really want to live you want somebody that make enough money that you could live off of instead of you putting in the own work and appreciating a man that already has a nine to five and is doing his best to make sure that you eat instead of putting a price on a man all you need to put priorities and responsibilities on a man and if you see them taking care of that priorities and responsibility that's a fucking man not how much money is in his bank account guys listen she's absolutely right the delusional mindset of these modern women they are still stuck in fantasy land but you can't blame them because this is what what disney fantasy teach them since they was a kid that all they got to do is look pretty dressed up and someone is coming to save them not the prince the modern day prince which is the simp so they have this expectation that all they got to do is look pretty and make a list of what they want even though most of them is not qualified for nothing on their list but hey can you stop a girl from dreaming right guys we reached the end of another video thank you to all the new subscribers guys don't forget to drop a like on this video and most of all thank you to all the new subscribers guys without you this page is going nowhere and we trying to be big hey what's the point of dreaming if you can't dream big right no one wants to dream small we know it is a long journey and we are not in this for the instant gratification it is a journey that i'm willing to take because it is a dream that i believed in chase your dream guys always chase your greatness until next time love you peace to your force!